So when I was a kid, maybe like eight years old, I was obsessed with being outside. I had to be out there. I mean, climbing trees, throwing rocks, rolling down hills. I was a fucking woodsman. That's what I was. Anything that stopped me from being outside, I absolutely hated, including, you know, the call of nature, including, you know, going to the bathroom, right? So one day I'm outside, me and my boys, we are having the time of our lives. And I had to do it, number two. <laughs> we all, don't, we're all from, don't, don't act funny. We all know number two. And so I go in the house as fast as I can. I handle my business as fast as I can. Barely wipe, jump up, running out the door. And my mother's there. And she sees me and she says to me, Chris, did you wash your hands? <laughs> now, let me just give you a little bit of background. My mother, I'm Haitian. My mother's Haitian. She was born in IET, Sakbasay. <laughs> she was born in Haiti, but, you know, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, but not even in a hospital. She was born in a house in Haiti, okay? So hardcore from the beginning. When she came to America, Brooklyn, they used to have a Haitian beat-up day in high school. There were two people that they didn't mess with. One was my mother, the other one was my father. All right? Yeah. That's how they met. I think it was like love, love at first fight. <laughs> okay. So you did not want to mess with this woman. So and she, she, was, she was tough. So anyway, uh, but what was the strongest thing for me was being outside and getting back out there to my boys. They needed me, right? So when she asked me, did, did you wash your hands, I said to her unequivocally and with full confidence, yes. Yes, I did. And she said, uh, okay. So she walked over to the sink and you know, kind of wipe her hand, and she's still like, you know, completely dry. You know, why, why is it dry? And I'm like, yeah, I, think, I think all the water went down the drain, Mom. <laughs> it's what sinks are for. You know? <laughs> and she's like, Chris, all right, I'm, I'm going to ask you again. Did you wash your hands? I'm like, Ma, come on. This is me. This is your little boy here. <laughs> come on. I wash my hands. So she said, well, what did you dry your hands with? So I'm like, uh, the, uh, the hand towel over there. She says, okay, so goes over to the hand towel, feels that, bone dry. <laughs> Why is it so dry if you wash your hand, if you, if you dried your hands on it? I'm like, you know, this, this is the good stuff, right? Like, soak it right up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's why, I don't know. And she's like, oh, may, maybe you uh, dried it with toilet tissue. And I'm like, yes, yes, me and you, we're vibing now, right? And the toilet tissue. That's what it was. I thought it was a towel with the toilet tissue. So she picked up the waste basket. There's no toilet tissue in this basket. I'm like, bitch. It is empty. That's, that's absolutely strange. Now, this whole time, I see my sister behind my mother. She was the instigator. So I'm looking at her for, like, some type of guidance. She was, like, three years older. I'm like, you know, anything? You got anything for me? She's just got her head and her hands like, you're fucking up, man. You know what I mean? So, um... So, uh, at a certain point, I just kind of had to come clean, you know, like, my, I didn't, you know, I didn't wash my hands. So she said to me, she said, listen, I'm going to beat you. Like I told you, like I told you, this is, this is back in the day, my mother was hardcore, she said, I'm going to beat you, but I'm going to let you choose the belt. So I'm like, well, let me choose the belt, it's on now. She said, there's one condition. I didn't even listen to the condition, boom, I was off to her closet. Going through, I'm looking through, I'm looking through, passing all the hardcore belts, right? And there I see it. This thing is like the perfect belt. It was this turquoise, skinny, plastic kind of belt. I mean, if, 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 if these belts were a football team, this belt would be the punter of, of the team. It was, it was terrible. So I grab it and I come running back, you know, and my face says... You know, please, please be gentle. But in my head, I'm like, lady, do your fucking worst. <laughs> this belt, there's nothing you can do. My sister was still there. I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, the turquoise one. Yeah, I'll, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get I, after. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up. So I hand it to her, and she said, you know, listen, the, the condition was, if I don't approve of the belt that you bring, then I choose the belt. Oh. My sister left the room. <laughs> 
Mother went to her closet and retrieved what had to be forged from dragon skin and, 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 and the fires of hell itself. And she came back, and when I tell y'all, she whooped my ass. I mean, start to finish, it was, it was, it was bad. I still remember it till this day. And uh, the next day, you know, I ran into my boys, and they're looking at me like, yo, what happened to you, man? Like, that was a legendary time. Like, what's going on? And I told them, I'm like, I, uh... I had to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs>